welcome back to my channel, my social life. So we're still in the midst of a global pandemic, a global panini, a global pamputer, what? <laughs> but hope you guys are staying safe and on your way to taking your second shot of the vaccine. And don't let anybody force you to take the vaccine. And you know, do your research and research your ingredients so you know what it does to your body on short term and long term. But yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. So today I'll be talking about facts of the zodiac, about the zodiac sign. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Number one, Aquarius. Then this sign usually falls under the month of um, January and January 20th to February 18th. Aquarians may be very reserved and shy or very loud and in charge. While that might seem contradictory, the underlying traits of honesty, even if it's brutal, is a driving force behind all Aquarians. You can you can always rely on an Aquarius to tell you like it is and give you a straight answer no matter how uh, what <laughs> no matter how uncomfortable it seems at first so if you're an aquarius you know big up yourself <laughs> the water bear number two pisces <laughs> what some um, guys my hair look awful but big up to my sister you know for this it up <laughs> But yeah, Pisces, and this is a fifth symbol, and it usually fall under the months of February to March. So February 19th to March 20th. The fish is the most impressionable and spiritual of the zodiac. As a mutable modality and a water sign, they are very in touch with their emotions and they are open to change. They, they truly do not like to go with the flow. Uber-sensitive Pisces will often put others' needs first, sometimes to an extreme, sometimes to an extent they neglect their own. If you're a Pisces, watch out for this and make sure you're not letting people take advantage of you. And if you're a friend of a Pisces, keep an eye out and make sure you're not abusing your Piscean friend sensitivity and devotion. Now that's Pisces Aries, uh, and the sign for this is a ram, like you know, one goat. <laughs> mm. But yeah, they're a fire symbol, like the Mahate, you know, them very you know them have them temper when they're ready <laughs> but they're very cool people my mom is a aries also aries is a cardinal fire sign so these have big energy and like to take control you can always count on an aries to take charge of any situation their willingness to take initiative carries over in romantic situations too i know about that also what was that wink <laughs> <laughs> they hate it. They hate dating people with low energy or anyone who makes them feel like they're keeping from reaching their full potential. Okay, Aries, I see you. Horus. What was that? Um, I think I'm trying to make the horns. <laughs> but you know, I'm a Taurus. I was born in 10th. So, you know, Team Taurus all the way. <laughs> but Taurus is the bull and it's from April 20th to May 20th. Taurus is a fixed earth sign, so they're rooted in the earth. Uh, you know, I like the nature, I like, like the outdoors, like anything earth then has to do, like, you know, as I said, nature and the earth in general and all of that. So, yeah. And as you notice, I'm not in my bunker. I mean, you know, I'm somewhere different this time. I'm outside. we outside. Yeah, <laughs> that was very awkward. <laughs> But yeah, Taurus, they are rooted in the earth. They are also not about change. These bulls know what they want and they want to keep it that way. As in earth sign, Taurus is one of the more reliable stable signs of the zodiac. They are grounded and they are there for a long haul. And they are there for the long haul. Taurus bull is stubborn, strong-headed, fearless and patient but can be raging when provoked. This is true. I'm very calm and everything but like when they provoke me, you know, provoke the bear as people say. Yeah, you know, we're very chill and humble like a bull. So you know. <laughs> Taurus is known for a great eye for beauty, a tender and caring nature, and desire for comfort and security. Taurus is also patient when things start to get tough. They do not run away from their problem. Instead, they weather the storm, and that is so true. You know, I'm gonna go through something, and nobody knows it because you know, I deal with it accordingly. And I also believe that like, you know. If you do if you don't have the solution you will find it. You will find it eventually and if you do have the solution, why worry? You see what I say? But yeah. <laughs> Without complaining or losing hope, they, are that, they know that everything comes to pass, especially times of hardship and sadness. Their patience is one of the strongest suits and makes them the best zodiac sign. Like, listen, I am very, very patient. Like, because I stand up on one line, like, for an hour and it's still really not bother me. I mean, I mean, I'm probably a little bit annoyed, but, you know, I'm, very, I'm a very patient person in general. 
but yeah, that's Taurus, the best of the zodiac. Gemini is, and my sister is also a Gemini. You know, Gemini is the twin um, sign. So Gemini is usually between the month of May twenty first and to June twenty first. So, while Gemini may get a bad look for being two faced. <laughs> They're actually very loyal friends who are often faced with indecision because they want to take ourselves into consideration and that's very true because as I said, you know, my sister is a Gemini and she's like that she's not too faced but you know she wants to be neutral with a situation and you know, so alright, you did wrong for that or you did wrong for that and come to a compromise or a better understanding of the situation. But yeah, um if you're in if you are <sighs> <laughs> if you are a Gemini, keep in mind that many decisions is often better than no decision. If you are a friend of a Gemini, remember that they are probably trying their best. So, and I think that's good advice. Cancers, and this is the crab sign, like a crab, or oh, what the hell? <laughs> and they usually fall under um, the month of June the 22nd to July 22nd. And uh, you know what I find? What I find racist, you know, probably not racist, but you know, personally, like, you know. <laughs> there isn't a zodiac sign for like a deer, like the reindeer, because I think reindeers are like majestic and very cool animals, so you know. I don't know because reindeers are really cool to me <laughs> but yeah I just find it very strange that there isn't a reindeer but, okay <laughs> let's continue the video <laughs> cancers cancers are cardinal water signs they they Can you get you <laughs> So they like to take action, but they're also in touch with their emotional side. These crabs tend to be leaders in the family and home front. Cancers are very emotional creatures who are very in tune with the those around them, given the emphasis they place on in interpersonal relationships. Tiffs are never just tiff. If you hurt a cancer, beware of that. Beware that they might not welcome you back into their life with such open arms a second time around if at all. You know, and I think that's pretty good because, you know, if you hurt somebody or, you know, especially somebody with not going to do something like that, like, you know, why you don't want me back, why you don't welcome them back with, like, open arms. But yeah, I totally get that when it comes to, like, cancer, so, you know. Long story short, don't fuck around the cancer and don't disappoint them or hurt them because they're not gonna accept it or if they accept your apology them just not gonna make it come back around them simple <laughs> leo and this is the lion and this is from july 20, 23rd to august 27th the lion is a fixed fire sign so basically they're both passionate and stubborn as <laughs> They know what they want and they won't budge. Leos are often dismissed as self-centered but they are also one of the most loyal and devoted sign in the zodiac. You really meet a Leo unwilling, unwilling to help out their friends even if it makes them look bad or isn't the wisest financial move. Okay, I think that's cool. But yeah, Leo the Lion. So if you're a Leo, big up yourself. So oh, this is Virgos and Virgos is the virgin symbol. Like who comes up with these symbols? Like what the hell a virgin? <laughs> But yeah, August 23rd to September 22nd. Virgos are heavily influenced by their environment and known for being really reasonable, detail oriented, and organized. Virgos' intensity for work and life can be intimidating to others at first. If you're a Virgo, remember to take a step back and relax every so often. Sometimes the outcome will be the same regardless of whether you put 10 seconds or 10 hours into a task. So, Virgos, take a break and don't work so hard. You know, you can. You can relax, you know, relax. <laughs> so, Libra. Oh, it looks like we have some clowns who are desperate for air time. Libra, and their sign is balance, I guess, the skills, and fall, falls under the month of uh, September 23rd to October 23rd. Intellectual, analytical, Libras are cardinal hair signs. So a Libra never makes a decision willy nilly. They always try to take as much into account as possible before making a choice. And their worst fear is being unfair or cruel to someone, even if they might deserve it. If you're a Libra, try to remember that life isn't black and white and it's okay to change your mind. If you're a friend of a Libra, try not to abuse their kindness and patience. Hmm. Do I have any friends that are Libra? Um, 
I think I have one for that for Libra, but yeah, Libras are really cool as you know, you hear. <laughs> but yeah, Scorpios, no, like this sign the worst sign for date, and people always say that too. But um, I think Scorpio make good friends though. Like one of my best friends, uh, you know, is a Scorpio. But like when it comes to dating, like it's a no no for me personally. <laughs> but you know, a Scorpio is a Scorpion, obviously. Scorpios have a gift for understanding intimacy. <laughs> and deep desires but as a fixed sign they can get stuck in an emotional spiral all too easily Scorpios are known for the emotional intensity of their relationship they never do same thing up they never do something off past and will know something within seconds whether you'll get along or not okay I have nothing to say about Scorpios but cool the Sagittarius and before I continue with it, let me just say this Sagittarius people like them sneaking bad and them lie like <laughs> you can't trust them <laughs> but yeah let's continue and I guess it's the not guess it's the half horse half man um sign I guess <laughs> but yeah on November 22nd to December 21st so Sagittarius is a dynamic and adaptable leader, but given the fact that they are mutable, they can also be a bit unreliable at times. Don't try to tie a Sag down. While mostly known for their humor and wit, Sagittarians are also one of the most sensitive signs in the zodiac. They love deep discussions and are some of the most genu genuine listeners and conversationists. If you'll ever meet, you'll ever meet. Um, okay, cool. I guess like I know you can have conversation with them, like they're cool like that, but. But from that, me while <laughs> Capricorns and their sign are sea goats. Like, um, what the hell is a sea goat, by the way? I know you have sea horses, <laughs> but Capricorns, December twenty second to January nineteen. An earth sign and cardinal sign, these sea goats are in control of their material environment. They are business minded go getters. While Capricorns may seem all wise and responsible on the outside, they are secretly fighting back tons of insecurities on the inside. While people in their lives might not be able to sense it, which is the most goal of every cool, calm, and collected Capricorn, it's never a bad idea to check in with people every once in a while and open up. So, you know, Capricorns open up to your friends, and the friends of Capricorns, you know, check on your friends who are Capricorns because they might be going through something internally, but you're dealing with their insecurities. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. By socialites. <laughs>